What's up guys, Valence Ring here, and I wanted to bring you the video for Ultimate Challenge 210. Unfortunately, I don't actually have gameplay footage. Um, just so you guys know, these levels in Ultimate Challenge get extraordinarily difficult, as I'm sure you know. Um, but especially the higher up you go, as you can see, I'm all the way to 240, and I'm releasing videos all the way up uh, every fifth level from... Uh, this one's on 210, then 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. And then once I beat 40, I'll do that one as well. And then all the way to 50, which is 250 is the current cap. I just want you guys to know that when I do these videos, one of the reasons I don't do voiceovers is because it can take hundreds of attempts. And if I explain what I'm doing a hundred times, a hundred times, a hundred times, it would take me ages to get through these. So. Normally what I do is I run my attempts while I'm recording, and unfortunately what happened when I was recording on 210, I had actually been recording for over 45 minutes. That's how long it was taking me to beat it. It's a very difficult level. Um, and I actually ran out of memory on my phone because I had recorded too long. It was almost an hour worth of recording and my memory ran out. And it stopped recording and I did not realize this, it just stopped, it just assumed it was done, um, and it didn't even notify me, and I continued on and beat the level and went back and looked and the footage was cut off. So, I apologize for that, and I just kinda wanted to break that down for you guys. I want you to understand why I do these videos in particular the way I do, um, because it takes so many attempts. But, at any rate, Looking at this, this is uh, Ultimate Challenge 210, and I do want to give the hero lineup that I used and the strategy that I used. I also want to make a quick, couple quick points. Uh, you can see the rewards here, but you can also always hit the clear stage lineup. This is going to show you lineups that have recently won against this Ultimate Challenge level. And it'll also show you the first, which is kind of cool because usually the first is, uh, you know, the hardest one. No one's beaten it yet, at least in your state. Um, and you might not have very strong heroes because they may have pushed through and done it early, so to speak. You can get lucky and do these without having the strongest heroes, but obviously leveling your heroes up helps. Most levels below level 150 are going to be beat just given a certain amount of time and effort and getting your heroes to a certain level. Uh, normally, like, say, around Red Star or something like that. Not even most of the time. But that being said, these higher levels definitely take some work. As you can see here, uh, Heathen Hunting was the most recent. The last one's usually the most recent clear stage lineup for this level. And you can see that it was with Myers. Lady M, Obsidian, Ulrich, and Mantis. And this is very, actually, I think this is identical to, no, it's close to the uh, way that I ran this. So I actually used a combination of all of these lineups except for the first clear, which had a very strong Iron Claw. Um, that's a pretty much a purchase hero, so I don't have them up, I still don't have them to Red Star, and I'm beyond this level. But what I use for my hero lineup for this was Myers and Lady M, perfect combo. You definitely want to use them together. Mantis, which is also great um, for the rage stealing. Lady M prevents rage fill. And then I used Mars and Obsidian. Now I had a strong Obsidian, and that's why I used him. And my Mars wasn't that strong, but he was still strong enough to do well. And the reason I used Mars is because he steals rage. So if you have Lady M preventing rage fill, Mars stealing rage and Mantis stealing rage, then you are going to be okay for this battle. Now, when you use Myers, he does increase the chance that you miss your hit on the enemies, and you don't want that. Uh, he does increase attack, which is what you are looking for, but because of that hit miss, you don't want that. Always use Lady M first. Lady M prevents you from taking debuffs for two rounds. So you even that's including your own uh, heroes cannot debuff you for two rounds. So if you use Lady M and then use Myers, what's going to end up happening is she's going to prevent the debuff, but the bonus attack is still going to work. So you're going to get bonus attack without any penalty 
if you use them in that order. It's a very important point. And I do have more videos coming out specifically talking about the order in which you use heroes and the importance that that has in battles. So, that being said, Mantis is very important because she steals rage from more than one enemy as well as doing damage. And Mars steals a significant amount of rage and does damage as well. Obsidian is a great hitter. He also has a unique ability that he steals buffs. So if some one of uh, your enemy has buffs on them and you hit them with obsidian, he will steal those buffs and randomly put them on one of your heroes. This is a pretty good skill that I think it's overlooked. Uh, sometimes but at any rate he's a good hero it definitely helps if he's leveled up um, and he can be very damaging so the lineup I would recommend for ultimate challenge level 210 is Myers Lady M Mars in the middle actually I'd put Lady M on the side Mar Myers Mars in the middle and then you want Obsidian and Mantis so you want Ladium and Mantis on the outsides and everyone else in the middle with Mars in the very middle. So let's actually look at the, this really quick and why do we want this. So the basic breakdown here is you have uh, Scarlet and Phoenix and you have some frontline heroes. You don't ever want to worry about in Ultimate Challenge the frontline heroes. They are literally... Even though they're there to hurt you, technically speaking, they kind of help you because they will absorb damage and allow your heroes to build rage without allowing the overpowered enemies to build rage more quickly than you, which can definitely happen once those frontline heroes are gone. So you don't ever really want to target a frontline hero, and there are exceptions to that, but I won't get into that now. So... What you're trying to focus on here is you have Fox, who's a healer, and uh, increases defense, removes debuffs. She's a great, great hero, as I'm sure you all know. Scarlet, however, is the, pro is the problem for Ultimate Challenge 210. Now, many people may say, well, you want to focus on their healer, and that is absolutely not accurate. Now, you may have done that in one. I don't think that that's the right call. The reason being is, yes... You don't want Fox to go off as much, but if you're doing consistent damage to Scarlet, even if Fox heals every once in a while, your, her damage is still going to be going down. And if she, if she is not damaging you, if she isn't using her skill, she won't one-hit kill you and just wipe your heroes off one at a time. And that's what you'll probably find in this, is that your heroes are taking so much damage, and without a very strong healer, Lady M does heal, but without a very strong healer, it can get very difficult the longer you go, and Scarlet will often one-hit your uh, heroes. So, you want to put a target on Scarlet, and you want to make sure that you're consistently hitting her with Lady M, and mars when possible now the trick to this level and this is why i wish i had the video for it is mantis will attack and steal the rage from both fox and scarlet which is perfect the problem is is that sometimes you're not getting the rage steals often enough or you're not getting lady m to go off often enough and their rage both of their rages are filling However, if you can keep Scarlet's Rage down and you see Fox's Rage starting to get close to full, that's when you want to hit Fox with hopefully Mantis so you can knock them both back down. But if not Mantis, then you want to switch targets and hit Fox with Mars. You never really want to use Lady M unless Scarlet is absolutely zero Rage and Mars or uh, Mantis have close to full. In that case, you can use Lady M on Fox to prevent her rage fill for four rounds, and hopefully you can get her back up because using her on Scarlet is critical. Every time you use Lady M on Scarlet, you get four free rounds and in, uh, without her gaining rage. And in those four rounds, that's when you want to worry about Fox and keep her rage as low as possible. Hitting with Mantis will do very well for you in this case. Once you do that, if you can do that, basically what you're trying to do is kill Scarlet first. You want to kill Scarlet before the frontline heroes fall. This means that every attack from Obsidian has to be on Scarlet if you use Obsidian. Yes, you can use Ulrich, and 
that will lower defenses, but it lowers everyone's defenses. It also spreads damage out. And if you use Obsidian in conjunction with Ulrich, then basically what happens is you are going to steal the spread damage from whoever you hit with Obsidian, which technically should be Scarlet. And that means that when you hit the frontline heroes, Scarlet won't take any damage. It's considered a buff. So, you don't want that. I don't recommend Ulrich for this level, although obviously he does work. So, that being said, use Myers and Lady M together. Once Lady M and Myers are both ready to go at the same time, which normally they fill at the exact same time, so it's not that big of an issue, target Scarlet first. Make sure she can't fill Rage for four rounds Then you, uh, with Lady M, then use Myers, then you want to hit both with Mantis if possible and use Mars as your utility. You're going to switch them between the two depending upon who needs their rage lowered the soonest. So that's the tactics. I hope that works. I will put a description in the description of the tactics in a more general sense without all the extra fluff. So I apologize if this video went a little long. I, there's a lot of information to how this battle should have gone, and I wish I could replay it because it is a tricky, tricky battle. But focus on Scarlet. Keep her from ever filling her rage. If you prevent her from filling her rage one time, you will have a fantastic shot at winning this, especially if you can keep your heroes mostly healed with Lady M. Even if uh, Scarlet does go off once, you're probably going to be okay. If she goes off two or three times, you're going to be in trouble. So, if Fox does go off, that's not the end of the world. Keep focused on Scarlet and only target Fox when Scarlet's rage is low and you can prevent Fox from healing. So, that being said, guys, give this video a thumbs up if it helped. I do have more videos to come, so make sure you subscribe to my channel for those. And I'll be covering UC uh, until I get caught up to 235 and then i'll be switching back and doing some other stuff uh, maybe talking about those heroes uh skills and how they're used together at any rate give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out subscribe to my channel for more content like this and as always guys thanks so much for watching mm -hmm.